John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Genesis 2740 Commentary And by thy sword shalt thou live. By what he could get by it, his land being so poor that he could not live upon it, but must be obliged to such methods for a livelihood, or his country being surrounded with enemies, his posterity would be obliged to defend themselves by the sword, and other weapons of war. And shalt serve thy brother. Which is the sense and language of the oracle, Genesis 25-23, and which Isaac perhaps now remembered, and had a clear understanding of it, and delivers out his prophetic blessing agreeably to it. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion. Not over the Israelites, the posterity of Jacob, which the Edomites, Esau's posterity, never had, but when they should get a greater degree of strength, power, authority, and dominion in the world. That thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. The Edomites should revolt from the posterity of Jacob, and shake off the yoke of bondage and subjection they had been long under, as they did in the times of Joram, king of Judah, and set up a king of their own, and continued in such a state of freedom a long time, see 2 Kings 8 20-22.